Hello, everybody. We will see if somebody or a few people join. It's kind of last minute. I wanted to share a box of AB Studio products that I got from Aga. I hope I'm saying her name right. And I am so excited because all of the products are amazing. And she sent me so many goodies. So, hi Dee, how are you? Hi Nicole, how are you? Thanks for joining. So, I got everything ready and I am going to, um, hi Belinda, I'm going to, I guess, sample or show you guys how the stencils look, show you guys all the papers, show you the stamps and stamp them out and everything. So I got it all ready because there's been a few people when I do haul videos or product shares that have asked me to do that. So I'm going to do that. So it might be a little bit of a long video or li live stream, um, but that's okay. Um, hi, Joyful Creations. I can't see you, your what your name is. You know what? I don't even know why I'm doing that. Let's see. I'm going to bring it over to the, my other screen. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Hi, Renee. All right. So I'm going to get started. So the first thing is, um, I have all the link to AB studio website in the description box and you can go check it out. She ships directly from her website, or I believe you can, there's somewhere on her website. I think that you can see where, um, you can get them just depending on what country you live in. And I know my rusty crown carries some. I'm going to, let's see. All right. So we're going to start with the stencils first. And I'm good, D. Thank you. Enjoying this cooler weather right now. It's like 70, I think 70 something. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Hi crafty stationary. Thanks for joining. Okay, perfect. All right. So I just pulled out some really vibrant. I don't really normally use these. <laughs> so I thought, hi, Lynette. I didn't see you come in. Hi. Um, I don't normally use these, so I thought it would be fun just to kind of use these for the sake of the video because they're nice and vibrant. And, and I don't, honestly, um, I don't really use sprays with stencils that often, So, but I didn't want to waste a bunch of paste. So... Hi, Gayla. Hi, Heidi. All right. So these don't have names on them. So I do apologize uh, for that or else I would tell you the names of them. Um, but this one you could see is like this, but I'll try to get up close so you guys can see the design. And um, if I can find them, I will do a... Um, a list of everything that I used in order so that you guys can check it out if you are wanting anything. All right. If you're curious, the color I'm using is Vibrant Turquoise from Dilutions from Ranger. All right. Again, I don't normally use these, so I'm kind of scared to be honest. Let's see how it sprays. Because I know these are very vibrant. And, and that's okay, Heidi. <laughs> it, there's always somebody out there that just trolls around. And I it doesn't bother me anymore, to be honest. Probably added too much. But, hi, Aga. How are you? And then, of course, you can always stamp or use the excess. Of this on the stencil and where's my water bottle all 
All right. So that was that one. Then we have this one here. Oh, let me show you guys. This one here. This one's so cool. And some of these are designed by Pascal. And I've been a fan of Pascal's for years and years. She is amazing. So it's really cool when companies get together with crafters and they design things for them. Are you using the Distress Oxide sprays? No, I'm using Dilution sprays. So this one is Vibrant Turquoise. And we're just going to spray this one here. And this is just regular cardstock. So I get it at Walmart. Ooh, that one is so cool. I love this stencil. This one would look really cool with uh, like modeling paste or something. Okay. And we'll flip it over. <laughs> and we're going to use this one. Oh, let me show you guys. Um, Aga is the owner of AB Studio. So maybe if she knows, it, well, I'm, I'm sure she knows the names of them. But um, maybe she can uh, say the names of the ones that I'm using. So this one's really cool as well. Let's switch it up and use Tangerine Dream. Let's see. Whoops. Ooh, that one's so cool too. Look at that one. This one's a good one to use, kind of like a stamp to get that excess off there. And you get a reverse, uh, what's it called? Reverse image there. Really cool. These dilution sprays are staining everything here. All right, next. This one probably is my favorite. So um, this one here, this one is such a cool design, something totally different than I've ever seen. Isn't that cool? Uh, Heidi, yes, it is listed in the description box. Um, oh, maybe, do they have numbers on them? Or maybe on the stencil? They might. No, okay. So I'm gonna reverse this here and use this here just like this and you can always spray a little bit more water on here to get more of that do, do, do. Oh no, D, is anybody else buffering? I hope that the internet is okay. It was, oh man. 
Well, it's plugged in directly. So my internet, is, we have the fastest that there is available in my town and it's still not fast enough. So actually, let me close some of these things that I have open here. I have like a million tabs open. Whoops. Make sure no games or anything are going in the background. All right, so there's this stencil here. All right, and let's flip it over. And this one is another favorite. I love this one. So let's go back to the Vibrant Turquoise. Ooh, look at that one. This one would be so pretty when you use like paste and then you add the color to it. Heidi, are you in the UK? I can't remember. For some reason, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one here. New Hampshire. I don't know why for some reason there must be another Heidi that is in the UK. Um so I know uh, my rusty crown carries a lot of AB Studio products. So that's all I was going to say because you're in the U.S. And Martina is amazing at shipping and she's just so nice. And um, carries a lot of products that are hard to find here in the U.S. Oh, I can't choose a favorite. <laughs> they are all amazing. All right. And this is just a stencil. Just wait till we get to the stamps, which you guys know. Stamps are one of my favorites. And she sent me some flower stamps, which you guys already know are my favorite. So. We'll definitely have to take the rest of the day to... Um, Clean off my stencils here because they're getting really stained with the with the dilutions. All right. Next we have stripes, which is a good one to have. And let's move to a different color. This one is funky fuchsia. Hi Don, how are you? And if anybody else popped in to say hi, hello. Thanks for joining. All right, I'm gonna move it up here. I haven't used this one yet. Wow, look at that color. So for stencils, if you're using them with sprays especially, I have this product, I can't get to it now because I have my drawer open where it is. It's the, um, what is that called? Um... I'm going to try and dig it out here. The Pixie Spray. To um, It's like a low-tack repositionable adhesive for stencils. And it's, a, it's really good for these types of stencils if you're using sprays, especially because, um, as you could see, it bleeds a little bit. And if you're wanting a cleaner look, then you definitely want to get some of the repositionable adhesive. Whoops. I think I need another. Whoops. All right. I'm 
Okay, so we're going to move on to another one of my favorites. They're all my favorite, so I will say that a lot. <laughs> And I really like that color, but this one for some reason had a really, not a bad odor, but it was a little bit, it had a little bit of an odor to it. I don't know. I don't know what's that, what that is about, but again, this is Funky Fuchsia in the Dilution Spray. Just going to pick that up. Look at how amazing that is. <laughs> I don't blame you, Heidi. Aga makes amazing products. And just wait till you see the papers. Some of the papers are just amazing. Well, they all are, but there's a couple of my favorites, like the Christmas one she has. They're like little critters and stuff on them, deers and stuff. They're amazing. All right. So here's this one. This it says, create, don't be afraid to dream. And we'll move to this color here. Probably should have used my other mat for this because this one's going to be so stained. But it's okay. All right. Got that one there. Really nice there. All right. And here is, well, it's one of, again, one of my favorites. Whoops. Sorry for shaking you guys. <laughs> All right, so here's this one. And there is a link to AB Studios website in the description box down below. And then I'm pretty sure she has a list of um, different stores, online stores and places where you can get her products or you can just directly order from her. She... Um, the shipping cost is pretty reasonable if you're in the U.S. and you're kind of worried about that. Look at that one. That one is so pretty. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Heidi, it's more like ambassador. So I, I know I said this before, but I'm going to be doing a video on um, like design teams and my thoughts on them and things like that. And because there is different types of, I guess, work you can do for different stores and companies uh and and i'm kind of doing them all right now so with ab studio i am an ambassador which just means she sends me products and i create with them kind of whenever i want promote them and that sort of thing and then um as you guys know i finally after years of not being on a design team i decided to join Finnebear's design team. So that one is more specific and there is restrictions on what you can and cannot use um, while being on the design team. And then there is set number of projects you have to do per month. And then I put, po they post on their um, website and blog and things like that. And then there is um, one where I do kind of with like Ranger, um, I've done and, um, Tonic Studios, I'm kind of doing the same thing where 
they send me products and I kind of create when I want and what I want. There's no restrictions, no strings attached kind of thing. And um, yeah, so I'm kind of kind of doing it all right now, which is which is good because. I love all the, the companies that I am um, promoting. And then, of course, there's like guest design work where you are asked by a company or a store to do a guest post or video or something. And then they give you... Um, like an allotted amount or a certain amount of products for your one post or your um, one project. All right, so that was this one. Uh, yes, they are from Ranger. They are the Dilutions. They are super vibrant and there's so many different colors. I wanna say that I I don't know if I've done a video on them, like swatching them out or like spraying them out. Um, but if I haven't, I will definitely work on that because there are so many beautiful colors. They're just so vibrant and they stain everything. <laughs> All right. So this one here is a little bit bigger. So those were probably six by six. This one is probably uh, eight by eight. Uh, we'll do a couple colors here. That one is so cool too. Bye Heidi, thanks for stopping by. Creative Living, they don't, at least none of the companies that I have done any design team work for have paid, um, except for a long time ago, I was on Manor House Creations design team and they paid per project. Um, I think it was 15 or $20. I don't think that they have a design team anymore. I know that they it's a flower company and a paper company. But that was a long time ago. And um, I mean, all of all, crafting companies and stores are really small businesses compared to like Apple, you know, or Microsoft or Ikea or, you know, like those huge companies. So I think having people willing to promote products and work with your products um, and take the time, I think most companies and shops and stuff appreciate people that do that. And um, it shows. So, you know, um, all right, so we're going to move on to stamps. So I'm going to stamp these out. They did have like, um, uh, like this film or this other layer on the back. And then I was struggling to get the packaging back inside. And then I got smart after a while. And then I started putting it on to the sticky part. So... Anyways, all right. Again, they don't have any names, so I do apologize. And she has tons of stamps. And we're just going to stamp them out. Oops. Let me get a smaller stamp block here. 
And this is just some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink. I know you don't see a lot of uh, rubber stamps anymore. I love rubber stamps. Back, like when I first started stamping, I would not buy anything but wood mounted rubber stamps. All right, so this one is a flower. Let's see how that looks. I love that. They do have beautiful stamps. All right, another flower here. And these would be great to color or even what I like to do a lot of times is stamp them on vellum and cut them out. And with either you stamp them on vellum using um, an emboss with like white embossing powder or gold. Um, and then you can add an element behind like your photo and just different things just to give the... Um, the project a little extra something. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Thought about trying them on a pair of canvas. Wonder how that would work. Ten shoes. Yeah, I think these are water-based. Yeah, I don't know, it doesn't say. Yeah, I don't know if they're permanent after, it doesn't say anything about that. So this one's like a leaf and it's got like writing and different texture in it. It's really cool. That one there. And let me move these over here and another flower here. I love these flowers, they're so pretty. All right, who already has AB Studio products? <sighs> Look at that, beautiful flower. So, so gorgeous. All right, another flower. I need all of her flower stamps. I'm just gonna tell you right now. <laughs> When I'm done with my spending freeze, because you guys know I'm going to creativation, so I definitely have to save my money. And can't buy anything. So next year, 2020, <laughs> I will be buying a bunch of more of the flower stamps. All right. That one there. Beautiful. So it looks like all these three are the same flower, just different, a different look to them. Okay. I don't even have like a smidgen of what she carries. She has so many gorgeous stamps and papers and stencils. And then I'm Pretty sure she hinted at something else. I can't remember if she posted about it yet. So I don't, but I want to say yes, because there's no other way I would know. But anyways, if you're not following her on, following AB Studio on Instagram, be sure to do so. These ones are scissors. Look at how cool those are. They've got like swirls and all of that stuff. 
oh, I need to do a freeze because I want to do a craft meetup with friends next year. I've been ordering more than, more than not lately. Those are so cool. Super, super awesome. This one's a light bulb. It almost looks like a banjo or something. I guess we'll know for sure when we stamp it out. <laughs> Sometimes you can't tell until you stamp it out and then you're like, oh, that's what it is. And these are um, first the first stamp. So I know sometimes with some stamps, you kind of have to um, condition them a little bit or like stamp them a few times to get a really nice crisp image. But these ones seem to do really well. It's a light bulb. Really, really cool. All right, this one is super fun. It's like scribbles and a little bit of writing. All right, let's see if I can stamp this out good. I don't know if this is, I think it goes this way. Nope, I swished sh it around too much. That's okay. You guys get the gist of what it looks like. This outline is not supposed to be there. <laughs> I moved it around a little bit too much, but that's really cool. All right, only a few more left, a couple more actually. And then we'll get to the papers. So these are like some pickets. Oh, I stamped it upside down. That one. Oh, awesome, Tele. I hope I'm saying your name right. I'll definitely have to check it out. I love using floral stamps for... Um, of course, cards, but as like, you know, building um, composition on a layout and her floral stamps are so amazing. I need all of them. Aga, if you're still listening, I need them all. <laughs> I will be placing an order soon-ish. All right, this one's just kind of some, uh, some X's. And I thought this one was really cool. I think I'm rocking it too much. Yep. That one's pretty cool. All right. So those are the stamps, which again are amazing. And if you're just joining, I do have a link to the AB Studios website where you can purchased directly from her, or I'm pretty sure there is um, a tab or something where you can find out, depending on where you live, um, where you can get the products locally. All right, I took them all out already. Actually, I'm gonna go one by one. Let's do this differently. But uh, the big new set 
from CC this morning on HSN with the new Gemini mini, but I guess my conscience was bothering me. <laughs> I put myself on a freeze yesterday after being to my favorite store at Lee least until the end of the month. Yeah. It's hard because I swear these crafting companies just continue to come out with amazing things. And some of like the stamp companies do it like every month. And then like companies like Prima and paper companies and stuff, they do it um, like every few months. So you, you're, it's impossible to get everything and I have a hard time with um, missing out. I feel like if I don't get something, then I'm going to miss out because like the paper companies like Prima and uh, well, mostly I think, well, no, I think a lot of the paper companies, they will discontinue like products and paper lines and things like that. Um but yeah, so it's hard because you, I really, really ha have to love a paper collection now to get it, um, to purchase it. All right, we're going to move on to papers. This one is Rustical Journey and they are 12 by 12, 16 designs and one bonus sheet. All right, the bonus sheet is on the back. So you get all these cutouts, cool vintage vibe. I love the birds, so pretty. Okay. And got this one. I love this one. The crackle. I know my girl Nicole loves a good crackle. <laughs> and then you got the back with the doilies and I don't know what kind of floral that is. and more doilies and there's like stitching on it and then writing up here I love the detail on these these papers and they're thick too that is so pretty it's like a like a dress maybe or something some sort of fabric something it's really really pretty all right this one looks like texture paste already on there it's really really cool you got the texture on down here we'll flip it over another cut like you have all these tags and I made what did I make a tag or no I alter or I like embellished a uh, envelope and I think I used some tags on it and they're just so pretty like this one here how it has a wire with the little knobs and stuff and the flowers and the doilies and the little pen nibs love it all Ooh, this one's so cool I love this Yes, that's probably what it is. Is it probably an old wedding dress? This one's super cool too. Maybe part of a piece of furniture or something. Oops. And then we have this one. I need to go a little bit faster or we're gonna be here all day. No one wants to sit here all day. All right, then we got this one here. Oh, that's like a door handle or like a knob and then has some writing on there. Oh, this one's so cool. I love that. Okay, and then more to cut apart, although I don't know how you would cut apart that. And I love the sentiments on here. So you can make cards or at, oh, I love that. 
I'm easily distracted, you guys, sorry. Um, or add lots of different sentiments here and there on a layout or a different project. Love it. Ooh, this one's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, till 4.30. <laughs> okay. This one's so cool. We got the back. Love this. I know, and you only get one, you know, so you definitely, if you, I would eventually break down and cut it if I really wanted to make a project, but it would definitely be hard because I like to have at least two of a piece of paper, especially these. These are so gorgeous. You got some journaling pieces here. You can make like a little, little art journal or something. All right. Now, all right. I think I already showed this one. So I'll go over this one. Christmas. Yes. Christmas will be, I think it's coming up soon. I think I showed this one and the next paper already. So I'm going to go over this one quickly and I will share a link to that video. Um, these flowers are so gorgeous. So Aga, what are you working on? What I, I can't remember if you fully announced it yet or not. So I didn't want to um, say anything, but I was just telling everybody that you have so many different products on your website. Love these. Oh, I love this paper. You know what? Maybe I don't have this paper yet. I think I wanted this paper. And then I think I had to choose when I was ordering. Got this one here. So, so pretty. Oh, I love these. They're like border strips. More flowers. So pretty. And then you got this one here. And then faintly, there's like some flowers here. And I love the wire mixed in with the little knobs there. This one here. So, so pretty. This one. And this one, that one, All right. I know I've shown Dream, well, I think I've shown Dreamland. I don't even remember. So got this one. This one is Dreamland. This is the bonus paper. Look at that. How amazing is that? This one. Mm, look at these florals. So gorgeous. More cutouts. Put this paper here. I love this one with like the music notes and the gears. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness. So gorgeous. These butterflies are so pretty. And then you got the back here. Going pretty quickly because I know I've shared this paper or at least a few of the sheets. I can't remember which ones I've Oh no, she's sold out. Oh man, that's a bummer. Tell her, tell Martina she needs to order more. <laughs> 
think she underestimates how much everybody loves AB Studio. <laughs> I love all of these tags. They're so gorgeous. And I love like the stitching on there and the flowers. So, so pretty. I'm sure it's hard having a store because you never know what's going to sell and then what's going to sit there for years or I don't know, years. I don't think AB Studio would sit for years, but you know what I mean? So you kind of have to be mindful of how much you order and what you order. Oh, I love this. All right got this one. All right. So that one was dreamland. All right. Who group of people are so different? She never, yeah, that's so true. All right. This one is shabby love symphony. Let me tell you, this paper is so gorgeous. I can't remember who did a project and I thought they had used a huge shutter. I'll explain while I go and show. Um, and yes, this one or a different paper. I don't know. I'll see it when I get to it. But I thought that they had used a, like a real shutter. That's how amazing these papers are because it looked so real. The shutter looked so real. It looked like they altered like a big shutter. These flowers here. So if you want to know when uh, Martina has, her, you know, new stuff or be in the know. And I think, he, I think there's like swaps and different challenges. I think um, there is a group on Facebook. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. We got all these flowers. And then this one here. I love the colors in this one. So, so pretty. Well, it's like stones, like on a house or something. And then there's like script and stitching and all kinds of stuff. And then you got the tags here. <gasps> These stairs. Oh, I love it. One day, this remind these stairs remind me of like something you'd see in Greece. Someday I'll get there. Got that one. And then these flowers. I love this, how it's like kind of washed out up here. And then these are like six by six papers. So if you do cards or tags or anything, it's a really good one to have. Here's the paper. So I don't remember who it was in my camera is going super wonky here, but I don't remember who it was, but I, it looked like they had alter a, like some shutters. That's how beautiful this paper is. All right. So that one was shabby love symphony. And I'm telling you, there are so many papers here. Let's get to the Christmas paper. I'm going to skip over some of these papers and show the Christmas paper. I'll show them after, but I just wanna show these ones. Okay. All right, so there's two sets of papers here. So this one is Breeze of the Forest. And got the back here. I could just stare at these papers all day. So, so pretty. Look at that with the sweater. Me and Abby were looking at these papers and she was cracking up because the, the 
the deer and the bears or whatever other animals are in here are wearing sweaters and she just she thought it was so funny <laughs> got this got this one here i love these colors that she used yeah like the bear is wearing a, a sweater <laughs> And then you got a little fox wearing a little hat. It says, Happy New Year. Uh, Happy New Year. A sparkling champagne. A holy night. Oh, dear. Awesome Christmas vibes. Oh, I did that one already. This one here. I love these, like, watercolored, really, like, loosely watercolored uh, trees down here. And then you got all these that you can cut apart if you have the patience. <laughs> I love this one with the presents and the holly leaves and the champagne and the candy canes. And I love these circles. So, so amazing with all these beautiful imagery on them. Love them. This one here. And got these here. So this one says, here comes Santa. Magic lights of the Christmas tree are calling for a miracle. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Here comes Santa. And then a bunch of beautiful imagery. Oh, they say joy with flowers. And this one has a bird on it. Really, really pretty. This one here, more gorgeous cutouts. And she was laughing at this because it had a hat on. She thought it was so funny. Super, super pretty. Oh, I love this like super dark area. Those circles would make pretty sugar. Oh, it would, Dee. You are so right. I love this. Got this one here. And then another paper with some, I don't know what that is. Like, uh, I don't know, some sort of greenery and some peppermint suckers and candy canes and stuff. All right, so that's the first Christmas paper. Then we have this one is Secret Wood. Another gorgeous paper collection. Love these the colors in here as well. And these like super loosely drawn, well, there's like really loosely drawn lines and then really fine lines. Got that one. And these are so gorgeous. These just alone would be perfect for a really nice Christmas card. Got this here, gorgeous. Love, love, love. I need to hurry up though. <laughs> I've been on for almost an hour already. All right, got this one here. Love these. Such gorgeous paper. And again, this does not even scratch the surface of what she has on her website. We've 
gorgeous. Whoops. All right, next we have, I think this was called Crafter's Bundle. Got all these beautiful flowers. Look at this heart full of gorgeous flowers. Hi, Jess. <laughs> How are you? Love all this greenery. They got the back there. <gasps> Look at this. So this must be just a lot of different types of cut up cutouts with a nice pattern paper on the back. Oh my goodness. Look at that one. It's like a butterfly steampunk lady mermaid. That's pretty awesome. And then you got a nice pattern paper on the back. And I love these. Old pictures, so cool. <gasps> Look at that. I want to frame this. I might frame some of these papers, Aga, and just put them in my craft room as my decor. Because <laughs> they are just so amazing. This looks like, was this one of your projects? Because it looks like it. It looks like you did a project and it's like a super up close um, picture. So, so cool. Got this one here, Vintage Love. That's what these are called. Love these. So, so pretty. Can't ever go wrong with some postcards. Love these. These colors, this purple with the brown is so pretty. Yeah, I was going to say it looks like wax. I need to do, whoops, something like that. Because a butterfly looks like it's kind of in wax, but then the little wing here looks like it's out of the wax. Really, really cool. Beautiful. And butterflies. You guys know I can never have enough butterflies. And this gorgeous map. Of Virginia. The country Virginia. Is there a country Virginia? I don't know my geography. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is. All right, so there was that one. And this one is <laughs> this one is be gentle. I love the purples. This whoops. Love. Love, love, love. This is a really nice background paper starting point. I love this saying, creativity takes courage. This one here. And go kind of fast. I know I keep saying that, and then I keep gawking all over these beautiful papers. They're so gorgeous. I, I haven't looked through all of them. The only ones that I looked through were the Christmas ones because I was dying to see them. Oh, I love this one. So much detail on this one. Then we got some cool cut-aparts. 
And this paper is thick enough to where you can color these too. You don't want to like super saturate them with watercolor or anything or a bunch of moisture, but it's definitely thick enough to where you can um, color them a little bit. All right. This one is Paradise Lost. Oh, my hips, I'm getting old. My hips are, I, I'm sitting up and my hips and my back is crackling at me. All right, got this one. And in the back here, oh, I love these. And these are cool too. You can cut these out and use them on an art journal page or something. Got this here. I love all these different colors on here. Beautiful. Ooh, these are cool. This says, there are some secrets which do not permit themselves to be told. That one's super cool. Got this page here. These wings are gorgeous. <gasps> These would be so pretty as ATCs. Love that. Got these here. Love, love, love. Ooh, this one's super cool. Look at these colors. The purple and the is that teal or tur turquoise? I don't I don't know. Blue. I'll call it bluish, greenish. They're so pretty together. Oh my goodness. This is so gorgeous. You guys see the detail on here? So, so pretty. Ooh, this one's really cool too. All right, we're down to a couple more papers, guys. We're almost done. Oh no, this is the last one. <laughs> um, is, it, is it lagging for you guys? All right. This one is in Wonderland. Love this. Oh, some more crackles. Oh, okay, it was. Yeah, it was like really weird when I was moving it around. All right. I'll have to definitely have my husband check out the... Because um, it's directly connected, so... Must just be a bad day for internet here. Which I wouldn't be surprised. I love how each collection is so different from the next but yet still has like little elements in it, like the wire with the knobs and stuff and then the butterflies and just, it's amazing. Do you know some companies like they just make, it almost looks like they just put a different color scheme on a, on a paper collection and called it new. <laughs> These are all so different from each other. Ooh, I love these. Own your dreams. Life is full of beauty. Vintage moments. It says life is full of beauty. Stay simple. Be amazing. Be awesome. Ooh, this one's so pretty. 
This is more like a greenish color. I don't know if it's coming up grayish on, on the screen for you guys, but it's a little bit more gray or green. <laughs> Love this one. Love them all. Okay, you see green? All right, must just be my screen. I need to recalibrate it for sure. It's been a, quite a few years since I've done that. Um, just here are the stamps that I got. So I just stamped them out so you could see. And then I'll go through the stencils really, really quickly. Whoops. That one. So I was staring, staring at it a long time. Put it back. <laughs> oh, that sounds like me for sure. All right, and we got these. This one here. I know, right, Jess? These stencils are amazing. And the colors I used are from Dilutions. And then we've got these two here. So that is it. That's all, folks, for today. My squeaky chair. <laughs> If you guys haven't already uh, watched my video from yesterday, it's a card video. I know card videos aren't the most popular on my channel, but I was asked by Justine Hovey. She is amazing. And she hit 50,000 subscribers. And um, so there's a hop right now. And the more channels you or videos that you comment on, the more likely that you will win a prize, which she's giving away five $50 gift certificates to your choice of either scrapbook.com or ellenhudson.com. So be sure to check that out. And I think that's it. Yeah. Now, who wants to come help me put it all away? <laughs> Oh, all the paper is away. I need, to, I should have gotten my husband. So backtracking. All right. So when we went to get my Calyx unit, a bigger Calyx unit for my new craft room, my husband's like, are you sure you don't want the biggest one? And I'm like, no, there's no way that I'm going to be able to fill that. And now with Aga sending me all this stuff and then dress my craft and Finnebear, I'm like, I should have probably gotten a bigger Calyx unit. So everything, I want everything to have a place. So anyways, I want to thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already, if you could give this video a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Any interaction you have with people's videos, um, mine or somebody else's, it really helps their channel out and helps uh, YouTube know to recommend them to other people. So whether you like it, dislike it, comment, share it, whatever you do, um, it really helps out. So anyways... I will catch you guys another time and yeah. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.